I'm standing where I used to bat a softball around with my friends when I was a kid in the front yard of my dad's hunting and fishing cabin on the Honga River in Lower Dorchester County. If the consequences of global warming and rising sea levels and the worsening erosion and the high tides they bring seem a little hazy to you, come take a tour of Dorchester County where the future is now. It's absolutely true anywhere that you're going to be seeing these impacts of sea level rise. It just happens to be that here within the Chesapeake Bay, within Dorchester County specifically, these are the places they're going to be impacted by this first. We've got graves literally falling in the, in the water, and vaults and headstones and bodies and everything else. And here on the shoreline, it used to be about 150 feet of marsh. Of course, the marsh is not there today because of, uh, of the erosion over the years. I see kind of landscape mortality where features that I was accustomed to viewing don't exist where they might have existed 20 years ago. You know, 20 years ago, this was a beautiful mix, pine, oak, woods, and now it's just, it's just pine and not for long. These pines are dead and they just don't know it yet. Well, this is a first for me to come here in June at the peak of the breeding season and not find the salt marsh sparrow. And that increased depth and duration of flooding is drowning out our tidal marsh plants and causing them to convert to open water. We need to try to figure out a way to preserve what we can that is so special about this place. We can do that if we are honest with what's happening and how we can try to respond to it. I guess we're sitting just a little bit off where center field used to be now. When you come back here and see these changes, it's just amazing. <laughs>